Welcome to the hardcore super mega cool tutorial on how to use Pokesav. This is made just for you, Kendall. How do you feel about that? A tutorial made just for you. Alright, time to get started. First things first, you're going to want to open up Pokesav. Dun -dun. You'll see all this hardcoreness. Of course, you're going to edit your team, but I'm going to load up a test team. Crap. Oh, yeah, this is where my computer screwed up a minute ago. Anyways, find the Pokemon folder. Anyways, here we go. Load. 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 Not another Deoxys. Let's change that just to be cool. And. Um. You. Now. Let's go over the couple basic steps. Of editing a Pokemon. Alright. When you go to edit. You're going to see this. Obviously, you pick your Pokemon. You know that. Give it your held item. I always use 100 for the trainer ID, 100 for the secret. Put 100 here, 100 here. Now go here, click Generate. Pick your nature, shiny, whatever the crap you want. And then press Generate, and it'll give you a number, and then you press OK. Click all 31 IVs. Put your EVs just like this. Make sure the empty spaces actually have a zero. That makes a difference. Give a move set. You'll more than likely... Well, don't worry about it. Just give a move set. Make sure you pick a town here. Preferably the version you're using. Then up here, choose like Johto region. Doesn't really matter. Make sure you put a ball, an ability. Make sure... English is selected. This is extremely important. Don't mess with any of this crap. Or anything of this. Don't mess with any of that crap. And you can change what level you met it at. Zero is fine. Click here. Original name. This should be pretty much everything you need. Oh, after you do all this, make sure you click stats, edit, and click all max after you've done all this. But do this first right here. So you'll get your maximum stats. Now, the cool part. You're going to make make sure it says 512 KB right here. See that? Leave that as a zero. Okay? Leave that as a zero. Alright. Now you're going to click export ARDS code. Okay. You're going to check the first six Pokemon boxes. Do not. Do not. Check the bottom box. Click save. Click save XML. Um, I normally put mine on the desktop. Test team. Oh, there it is. Save it. Replace it. Whatever. Now. Now you're going to open up. Um. Action Replay Code Manager. Okay. Now, I'm not going to worry about minimizing this stuff. What you're just simply make sure you put your DS in USB mode. And it'll pop up with all its crap right through there. Um, just simply drag the XML file to right here. It'll be like right there. Then drag it right there and it'll be like are you sure you want to delete and you're like yeah and you're like yeah and all that and your code should be ready then you simply go make sure you press a to turn on the code go in press l and r morph your pokemon into super pokemon now while i'm at it i figured i would show you another hardcore amazing thing oh by the way this is probably the coolest internet browser in the world lunascape anyways Oh, God. What's up with my computer? Anyways. Close the action replay. 
switching to Trident engine maximum speed here. Go to CNET, technology news, then go to downloads, top freeware, um, what the heck, okay, go down to the bottom, download this program, install it for non-commercial use, it'll allow me to control your desktop, or you to control my desktop, or for me to go into presentation modes and stuff, so I don't have to do tutorials like this anymore, I can just control your computer and do it for you. Anyways, um, that's about it. And, so yeah, don't forget to download the Team Viewer and this awesome browser, Lunascape. Over and out.